Hey there, Lickin' Riffers, and welcome back to yet another awesome arrangement lesson here on Lickin' Riff, in which you're gonna learn Alone Again Naturally. It's a classic song, and it's one of the most amazing compositions um, in existence. It's really magical and magisterial even. It's probably the most beautiful song about acute depression ever, ever created. First, I'm gonna play you the arrangement so you can see and hear how it goes, and then we're gonna break it down lick by lick, note by note, finger position by finger position, with tabs right here on the screen as usual. So it goes like this. Enjoy. Okay, so you start by playing D major 7. D major 7 is this, okay? It's D with two on the second string. So what I do here is I only put on two fingers. I put on two and two on strings two and three, and I play strings two, three, and four. Because then I need to play the melody two, two, zero on the second string. Okay? And then two on the third string. So okay? that's D major seven. That's the first line in the intro. And then you have exactly the same thing, but with two on the bass string. So it's F sharp minor seven. So it's the same fingering with your finger on two on the bass or your thumb, which is a lot more convenient. Okay, it's exactly the same line. Two, 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 zero on the second string and two on the third. Then you have E minor, just three on the second string with the open third, open sixth, and you play three, three, three on the second string. And then you have two on the second string with A, and then you have three on the third, okay? And then you have D again, I only play two on the third string with the open fourth. Okay, that's it. So it's A. Okay, now technically the chord that's being played here is A7 that leads to D, but there's no reason to complicate this any further. It's pretty straightforward. So that's the intro D major 7, F sharp minor 7 with your thumb on the bass, E minor. A, A7 technically, and D, or D5 technically, because we're not playing the whole chord. Then the verse starts with uh, D major 7 again, this time the whole chord. So you bar the second fret up to the third string. So you have 2, 2, 2, and the open D string. The melody is very easy here. It's two, two, five, five, two on the first string. Hey, that's it. And then you have exactly the same thing with F sharp minor. Okay, so you can bar if you want, or you can use your thumb. Now, I find that barring here is more convenient. Okay, 
because if you use your thumb, you need to really stretch to get that little finger going. Okay, and it's inconvenient. So here, I choose to bar. Okay, and you can also pull off at the end. And then you have A minor. So it's basically the same idea, okay, that you just played, but three frets up. So it's a bar on five. You can bar the whole thing and play the sixth string, but I prefer to do a half bar, play five, 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 and the A string, okay? And the melody is eight, eight, seven, seven, five, five on the first string. Okay, and then eight, eight on the second. Okay, so okay, you have F sharp minor. And then you have F sharp half diminished or F sharp minor seven flat five. What I do here is I put on D7, two, one, two on strings one, two, and three. D7 with my thumb on two on the bass. Okay, that's the easiest way to play this. So, okay, the melody is two, two, zero, zero on the first string. You can pull off and then you have B7. Okay, so I just bar the second fret with my little finger on four on the second string and I play strings two, three, and five. That's the easiest and fastest transition from this to this, okay? You don't have to put the whole chord on, okay? Just the bar and the little finger, okay? So it's, okay? And this is where, let's say, part one ends. So it's D major seven, and then with the F sharp bass, it turns into F sharp minor. A minor and then F sharp minor seven flat five or half diminished B7 now you have E minor okay E minor again with nothing on okay as usual the finger style E minor just strings one two three and six and the melody is the open E string and then three on the E string and then the open E string again okay, it's the same motif Zero, 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 three, three, zero, zero. You can pull it off. And then you have E diminished, okay? Which is this. It's, um, it's three, two, three, two on strings one to four, okay? It's this. And the melody is actually the open E string. So you're playing this chord with the open E string first. So it's zero, 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 three, three. Okay, and then this, okay? Remember when we played B7 a minute ago? Now you do the same thing, but you bar up to the sixth string and it's on three. So the little finger is on five on the second string. Okay, and you play strings two, three, and six. Okay, so it's... Okay, and then you have... Okay, by the way, this is G, G minor six. Okay, this is... This is G minor six. This is one of the most brilliant chord choices I've ever heard in my life. Uh, the, the, the E minor turning into diminished and finishing on G minor six instead of staying here. Because it could stay here, but turning it into G six, that's just a stroke of brilliance. Okay, so it's, So beautiful and then um, starts a really nice progression over D over a D chord so um, it's three on the second string and the open E string and then D with two 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 okay on the first string and then you have three and zero again on strings two and one and then you have D augmented 
okay, which is D with three on the third string. Okay, so it's like you're playing an A minor shape. Okay, so again, two, two, two on the first string. And then you have three and zero again. And then you have D6, okay, which is two, three, and four this time. So it was D with two, and then D augmented with three, and then D6 with four. Okay, so it's, okay, it's, it's brilliant. Okay, so you play 2-2 two, two this time. So, just twice, and then 5-7, okay, on the first string. And then you do a jump to C-sharp 7, okay? It's a bar on nine with 10 on the third, 12 on the second, okay? And the melody here is strings two, one, two. Okay, 12, nine, 12. So every time I play the second string, I harmonize with the third. Okay, so it's... And then... Now... I had to practice this jump, so you might need to practice it as well. So play this. Okay, until you get convenient with, until you get comfortable and until this jump feels convenient. Okay, so. And then you bar, okay, you keep the bar and you go to two, you go back to F sharp and you play five, two, four, five on the first ring. So it was, okay, so keep the bar, okay, because that way it's really actually a lot easier than you would expect to make the jump from nine to two, okay? Okay, this is a lot easier than the previous jump. And then you have uh, two and four again, leading you to A minor. So you play five, but with A minor, five, 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 and the A string. Then you have eight, 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 okay, with A minor. And then you have B7. So you start with this, okay, because it's still eight. So what I do here is this, okay, this is, this is an unusual chord shape. It's a bar on seven with eight and eight on strings one and three. Okay, so it's... And then you have seven on the first string and then 10 on the second. Okay, this is now B7. Okay, so... So let's go over this whole part. Okay, so you had D augmented, six, jump, jump, change, and then, okay, this is, to me, the hardest part of this whole arrangement. I had to practice it to exhaustion. This, this is a really challenging part. Um, even though I arranged it, it, it was a heck of a challenge. Um, and then you're in E minor territory again, so you get a little finger rest. It's E minor strings one, two, three, and six with five, three, 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 two, zero, zero, zero. Okay, so you can slide. And then remember G minor six, you bar on three again, and the melody is five, three, five, three on the first string. Okay, this is G minor again, and then 3-5 on the second string, and you finish on that G minor 6 again. This composition, I'm not just saying it, it's, this is one of the most brilliant compositions I have ever come across, ever. This composition is so logical and beautiful and magical and self-contained. It tells a whole story. It's perfect. 
and there are a ton of motifs. Then you have the first line again, D major seven. Okay, two, 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 five, five, two on the first rank. And then of course you have F sharp minor, but this time you have two, two, five, seven. Okay. And then you take your little finger to nine and you bar a B chord. Okay, so you get B9. Okay, ironically, it's nine on the fret as well. Okay, so it's nine, seven, eight with seven on the bass. And then you have E minor. Okay, it's seven pull off to five, and I play the bass afterwards. Okay, so. Okay, I play the chord first and then the bass. And then slide to eight on the second string, seven on the first. And then A. And then you have A7, the one that we didn't really outline in the beginning. Okay, it's 2-2 two, two on the second string. I harmonize with the open third string for the A7 sound. Open E string. And then D. Okay? And the melody note is 3 on the second string. So once again, the finishing line. B9, E minor, A7, and D. And when I play D, I play the bass first. So it's, okay, it's A, D, bass first. And that's your arrangement lesson for Alone Again Naturally. Go download the tab for free. The link is below in the description. And while you're there, check out my Break Your Boundaries course program. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I will see you in the next lesson. Bye for now. Enjoy.